Don't forget you guys, this content is PG-13. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up you guys, it's Zach Jack Band back with another unboxing video. And as you saw from the thumbnail, this is a massive, massive unboxing. And as you can tell, it has begun. Well, what has begun? We knew that with the shipping issues that all these pre-orders that we have would finally all hit. And as you see, they have all hit Walmart, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, eBay, Friends, all that good stuff. And I think even NECA's in here. So why is my table showing up with some little teases here for what's in the box? We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But as you can see here, all kinds of goodies to unbox with you guys and throw in the shelf. Now, I will say this. My son and I, Zach Legend, did get our McFarlane Toys Batman setup done. And maybe a little tease here in this video of an addition to this Batman collection. We also got the NECA Mousers unboxed. So, Mousers came with these little white mice as well. And that's a horrible shot there. There you can see. So, Wrecking has the gray mice on him. But also down here on the bottom, he's got two white mice attached to him now. So, that's pretty awesome. But check out these Mousers. You can see right here, you got destroyed mousers. You got one going after Raphael's hat right there. It's kind of got a bashed up look on the head. He's got one of the mousers on his side here in the newsroom scene. You got a mouser back here all bashed up with a mouse on him. Another mouser with a pizza in his mouth. An extra mouse with some more cheese right there. And then we got these three mousers right here with another mouse behind them right there as well. It's a pretty cool pack. All kinds of different options for your mousers. So I'm loving my NECA turtles. Alright, so let's get into the unboxing now. Alright guys, so here I am at the table finally. Again, I got some teases here of what is going to be in these boxes. I already opened them all, uh, the tape that is. They're still in the box, so I'm going to go through and open these things up. But again, here's a little tease of some of the conversation we're going to have during this unboxing video. So let's start off with what is not a box, but what is a bag. I'm going to straighten these up for now. Let gung ho be up front. Little tease. So what is in this bag? Well, something that is buildable. This was my eBay purchase that I got. And you'll see a couple times that I have this in this uh, in this haul. So, yep, what do I got? We got our bone breaker build a figure. And it is already built. It was not built whenever it came. Um, but my son Zach Legend put this thing together. I have to say this looks awesome. It's its own sculpt. Nothing, well, I don't know, the arms may be something, I'm not, you know, torso might be something, but, uh, but everything else, of course, is its own. Um, the only weird thing to me is the exhaust here on the motor. Um, I feel like that right there is just going to, like, blow exhaust right on his back. You guys let me know. I don't, I'm not a motor guy, but uh, I feel like that should have been turned the opposite way on this build figure and you couldn't. Uh, it does have the two canisters right here that will peg right on. And even more cool than that is down here in the back, we actually have a little flap where you can actually hide his hands, his extra hands. So he has fisted hands he can use too, so that can be used for storage as well. So pretty cool build a figure. I didn't want everybody in this X-Men wave, especially didn't want that saber tooth. The saber tooth looked horrible. 
way too skinny, in my opinion. That's my opinion and mine alone. But there is my bone breaker build a figure. All right, let's open a Target box. Okay, so this is a Target exclusive, and I already see something that is a little teaser here on the table for what this is. So, got a little Target exclusive. McFarlane gold label. So we got our gold label Martian Manhunter. The reason I had my Martian Manhunter out is so I could compare what we got. So this is our New 52 versus our DC Classic. So I wanted to go more with the classic look than the New 52. So that's why I went ahead and bought this one instead. Gold label McFarlane toy. And this one will be going up for sale soon. It's not a bad figure. I do like it. But it is not my classic looking Martian Manhunter that I was looking for. So there's that first comparison. I'm gonna get rid of Mr. Martian Manhunter now, for now. All right, next box. So let's go with Entertainment Earth here. That's a nice little tiny Entertainment Earth box. So let's see what we got in here. Ah, this was not Entertainment Earth. This was just a rebox from a buddy of mine. JB's Toy Trunk, looking out for myself and Man Cave Collective Reviews and getting me some G.I. Joe Classified. So I am still missing Storm Shadow. I need to get me a Storm Shadow and Croc Master and Fiona. So we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But I do have Spirit. He looks amazing. Cannot wait to get him on the shelf. Definitely one of my top 10 that I wanted. And then we got a Cobra Officer. So that is why I had out the these three right here. So let's throw Spirit out for now. Let's look at these three, these three right here. So we got our Cobra Island, Cobra Trooper, we have our Cobra Infantry, and then we got our Cobra Officer. So I'd say the blues are about the same. I thought it was going to be a lighter blue, but it's it maybe just a tad lighter blue. And interesting, this was figure number 12, figure number 24. I was kind of hoping this would be 36, but they just missed and went 37 instead. That would have been kind of cool to see every 12 they do a uh, a Cobra Infantry Army Builder. Um, or Cobra Officer Army Builder. So he does come with a helmet just like the others. Uh, so just another trooper. So that is what that is all about. So that's that comparison. We'll get rid of these two for now. Now let's open another box. Again, we got Spirit as well. Oops, get rid of the wrong one. Nope, it's right there. So this is figure 36 and 37. And they do have new artwork on the back here. Showing Spirit, Storm Shadow, Croc Master. Uh, so hopefully as we get some of the newer figures like Sergeant Slaughter, Serpentor, and Dr. Mindbender, we get another new set of art, which will show off some of those three. And I cannot wait for those figures. Now Serpentor is going to be a lot harder to get, um, probably about as hard as Dr. Mindbender was, um, but you know Sergeant Slaughter was out there everywhere. It kind of upsets me that they're going to you know do that. Hopefully we'll get another release that's not exclusive, but if they do, I think it's probably not going to come with that air chariot that we're looking to get in the Serpentor. I'm sure Dr. Mindbender will get released as a regular release too, just not um, not at this time. All right, let's go to Big Bad Toy Store here. Smaller box from Big Bad Toy Store. And I'd already teased this earlier in the video whenever we talked about Batman. So another McFarlane Toys. And this was the guy I could not name for my life last video. Red Robin. So this is Tim Drake as his own character, Red Robin. So that will be joining the McFarlane shelf with the Batman stuff that I have. And he looks pretty big. Of course, they, they are 7 inch scale, but I really thought that Tim Drake would have been smaller than that. These guys are not going to stay in camera, I know that. Let's go with this one here. I think this is uh, Big Bad Toy Store. Nope, this is Entertainment Earth. And interesting enough, it did not say Entertainment Earth on the side. It's one of the first times I've seen that happen. So this is very exciting. This is my Super 7 Thundercats. But as you see, this box is kind of small. And I had ordered all four of them, so let's get rid of this box. And I have 
Captain Hammer Hand, which on Entertainment Earth's website actually still says Hammer Head, interesting enough, and Bengali. So this is actually not the way they came. Sorry about that. This actually came Captain Hammer Hand and Mirror Dimension Lion. So I've already, like I said, taken it out of the box and messed this little display all up to you. But this guy actually came later. So I got Captain Hammer Hand and Mirror Dimension Lion first. And then I got Bengali and Vulturman. So let me see if I can find those, which I think are right here. So yeah, two separate boxes for these. So here is the Vulturman that did come with Bengali. And here is the Mirror Dimension Lion O that came with Captain Hammer Hand. Hammer Hand. That's so hard to say. So, yeah, cover myself up here, but those are the four Super 7 Thundercats Wave. I believe this is five, maybe? So, really cool. This is pretty much it for Thundercats that we know. They, they're doing the LGN versions. We know we're getting the Thunder Tank. We know we're getting the um, Mandora and her her bike. Um, but this is it. This is all we got announced so far for Thundercats um, besides the LJNs that they just revealed. So get on out there and, and order your LJN versions or the toy looking versions if you want to, which is Lion-O, Monkeyan, Chitara, and the larger version of Mumra. Yeah. I'm not gonna get these out of the box because there's actually nothing in the box. They're actually on the shelf and you'll see that later on in the video. When these came in the mail, we could not wait to get them undone, unboxed uh, and get them on the shelf. So yeah, I'm loving my Thundercat shelf finally. It was so bare for so long. All right, what do we got next? All right, so this is interesting. Finally, finally, the Loot Crate has delivered a turtle. This is not one of the ones I wanted, I cared about. I already got rid of my Danny Pennington, because um, I don't collect really movie figures except for the Toka, Razor, and Super Shredder. But, we do have the Mirage Comics mutated claw shredder figure here. So this will be going up for sale sometime. I'm going to probably let the price ease up on it a little bit. But I will definitely be putting this one up on eBay as well. Nice packaging. It comes with a pin with Raphael. It comes with a Krang fanny pack. And a Eastman and Lard t-shirt. So, pretty cool. Took forever, like I said. now though if you guys have watched my buddy Century TMC you saw he actually just did a massive unboxing as well I think he had supposedly 13 according to his thumbnail but it was actually 12 one of the boxes were in the stack from the previous unboxing video so I'm actually gonna be beating him with the amount of my unboxing this time um, and actually getting some of the same stuff he had in his, his collection so here's Walmart and this is going to be a comparison right here especially. So there's two comparisons here on this table. First off, we have the comparison of what is pitiful about this thing, which is the card. This card stock is so flimsy compared to the Marvel Legends, which is so much thicker. So much thicker. I don't see how in the world this will ever stand up on the shelves of Walmart. It'll rip through this... Uh, peg holder right here and just coming in the mail like this was already destroyed my buddy man cake collectibles got his lady J and guys it didn't even come shipped in a box it got shipped in um, a plastic bag like my like my bone breaker did plastic bag his card was destroyed which it probably would have been destroyed anyway because it's so cheap Hasbro what are you thinking work with each other and understand how these cards are supposed to look that's the first comparison is the card. We'll get with the same man for now. Second comparison. The original Destro versus the new one. So the biggest thing that I can say that I love the most on this new one is that it has the eyebrows. So on this original there was no eyebrows painted on him. 
everything else about this one compared to this other one, I love. I do love the silver arms on this one better. They're a, a lot um, brighter silver on his wrists. Um, so that's going to be sucking that I can't switch that part out. I really can't switch anything. I was hoping I could actually switch the belt off too because I kind of like this, this belt better. But uh, I definitely like this gun better and this briefcase better. It actually has the red Cobra emblem on there where this one is black. His guns are all black on this one. His necklace on here is silver versus the gold, and I do like the gold better. His handgun on here is gold versus black. So here you go, you can see the back. I did not get the Baroness or the Lady J. I will not be getting any more of these figures because um, I do like the Storm Shadow I'll be getting on the uh, regular card instead of the vintage card back. Um, but yeah, notice I didn't name something on here and notice there's a box that's been sitting on my table. So yeah, there's our Destro vintage card back compared to the original. You see right there, Destro. Hmm. So we still got two comparisons here on the table. So let's see if we can find some of this. Another Walmart box. And interesting enough, I ordered these in the same order, but Walmart decided to ship it in two different boxes. I think my buddy Man Cave and Century both had theirs shipped in multiple boxes as well. But again, with the card back, all bent up, veined, and it was actually in a box. But these cards are junk. So yep, there was my other comparison. I did get the Gung Ho, did not get the Lady J or the Baroness. But yes, this is definitely the gung-ho I was looking for. There's a comparison between the original figure number seven and this vintage card back. That is the gung-ho that I know. Got the teal colors versus these darker colors. So yeah, number seven is out of here. And I'll be replacing with this new vintage card back and getting it off its card. All right. Bye-bye, gung-ho. Still got one here to compare. Still got two, four, I got five more boxes, guys. So this, I believe, is NECA. So I'm not gonna pull the box up here, but NECA has provided for us again. You guys saw that I showed you the Mousers. I had gotten the Mousers and some more of the Ultimate Foot Soldiers. Haven't unboxed the other Mousers and Foot Soldiers yet, but check it out. Got the neutrinos with the joining crane up on my uh, Dimension X shelf. Got their surfboards, and I don't know what in the world the baby and the little the little alien are called. They don't even talk about them. Because, of course, the back of these NECA TMNT boxes have the exact same write-up every single time. It's really interesting how this neutrino over here, and again, they didn't even name the neutrinos on the box. So i got to really go do some research. Uh, he's actually really, really far back in the box, right? Well, that is because his hair just sticks out so long. So that was pretty cool right there. That's the neutrinos. And you got your Usagi, your Jimbo. In his VHS type box, this is volume number eight. Got two different head sculpts in here. One showing the teeth, one without the teeth. He actually has a soft goods piece down here. I guess a soft goods robe, and he comes with a little dinosaur, a hat, two swords, multiple hands, and I don't even know the rest of these weapons right here, what they're called. Yeah, you saw Gyo Jimbo, really cool looking. All right, down to four boxes. What do they got left? Got another Entertainment Earth here. And, okay, so I told you something about Bone Breaker a second ago. Well, I got the Bonebreaker build figure on eBay for cheap because I didn't want the rest of the wave, but I did want the figures in the wave. I could have got them cheaper, but they shipped right whenever I was ready to pull the order up. So here is the Havoc figure. So I'll be selling some Bonebreaker build figure pieces. Here is the Siren figure. And here is the Maggot figure. set of three that I want right there. I didn't care anything about Vulcan at the full price. I didn't care anything about Darwin at full price. And I definitely didn't care anything about the Sabretooth or the Wolverine with the the hot metal claws. 
these three are definitely going to be joining. Um, getting rid of my Havoc finally from the Giant Man build figure, I believe it was. First time Siren is in the collection, first time Maggot is in the collection, and Maggot looks awesome. I love that Maggot figure. I've been wanting Maggot for a while. So three more Legends right there to go along with Bone Breaker himself. And three build figure pieces to sell. Three more boxes. Another Entertainment Earth. All right, we talked about G.I. Joe earlier. We talked about figure number 36. Number 37, you know I'm missing Storm Shadow, but got us a little Croc Master. Croc Master was one of my favorites, if not my favorite, three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe figure back when I was a kid. I loved this figure, and this is what is keeping me in classifieds now. I was gonna jump to Super 7 with their Ultimates when I got Croc Master and Fiona, Serpentor, Sergeant Slaughter, Dr. Mindbender, I'm sticking with my six inch classified figures now. So this is pretty awesome. This is figure number 38. And again, that artwork even wider now on the back there. But man, Fiona looks amazing. Got two little baby crocs there, a little white one and a, and a green one right there. But articulated, they put some articulation in my gator or croc, whatever you wanna call it. So awesome. That's my number one right there. All right, slide up there. Two more boxes, another Entertainment Earth one right here. What is this? Okay, this one is one of the newest, one that just came in finally. It's a massive, massive vintage card. And again, vintage card back, which actually is a thick card, Hasbro. Listen to that, oh my gosh, listen to that. Flimsy, thick. This thing will stand up the test of time. Interesting that they put it with the latest vintage collection um, Spider-Man set. But I did sell my Rhino build a figure a while back because this was the Rhino I was actually wanting with the eyeballs on this side of the mask like this one has. Two different head sculpts there, one grinning, one mouth closed. And this one is missing the shoulder pieces right here. If you guys remember the look uh, figure that came in the the uh, SDCC Asgard set can't think what it's called right now um, had those holes in the shoulders because of the way that they had done the original Rhino build figure with those those shoulder pads uh, so they have fixed that sculpt now on these arms and there's no holes in there so awesome got a Rhino build a figure that's not a build a figure it is the vintage card back Whew. My table's getting full here, guys. One more box. One more box. Now, my buddy, JB, went out to one of my local stores. He had dropped his kid off at an amusement park and went out to one of my local stores and found every bit of this. I didn't get it from him, though. I got it from Big Bad Toy Store. So my last box, let's start off with my last comparison here, is a Masterverse Skeletor. Now, this is a Motu Classic. This is part of the Motu Classic that was the, um, the DC Universe 2-pack. So I'm not sure who came in the 2-pack with him, but I do have the Skeletor and the He-Man from those 2-packs. It's probably like Superman and Lex or something. I don't know. Um, but here's the Skeletor. He does not have a Havoc staff or anything. And then here is the... I think they called this either the Barbarian. I don't think he's Barbarian. I think he is Viking. The Viking Skeletor. Uh, so there's actually, with this being the new Eternia figure, it actually has two different costumes. Very similar to the way the Beastman did. Um, I think Tila was the new Eternia maybe as well. But he has actually two costumes. So I'm actually going to have to turn this guy into this guy. Sell the more expensive one, I think. And go with this in my collection instead. There you go. That's that comparison. That's the first piece out of that box. Skeletor, you stand right there for now. Four more things in this box. Five, technically. Let's see what I can do to hide this from you. Not much, but I will show you that that says Batman on the side. That says Superman on the side. And you probably just saw the back of the package because there is Atrocitus build a figure. So we got our Blackest Knight. 
one of my biggest regrets whenever my son and I had to choose to sell things was whenever I sold my Green Lantern collection. I loved my Blackest Night and my Green Lantern collection. And McFarlane has done one up on what I did with DC Direct. So hopefully we'll keep on going. I know they got a Necron announced. Um, I know there's a gold label Parallax that I wouldn't mind getting for Hal Jordan. But here is the Kyle Rayner, the Death Storm, which is Firestorm. I'm going to, again, you see the Build-A Figure pieces in there, so that is why this is five figures. You have your Superman and you have your Batman. So, holy cow, guys. 14 packages. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 figures in this haul. 23 figures in 14 packages from all over the place. eBay, my buddy JB's toy trunk, NECA, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, Walmart. Surprisingly, the only thing I didn't get something from was Target. Uh, I don't think I have anything at this time pre-ordered from Dorkside Toys anymore. I've converted most of it over to Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Store. So check out my link in the description if you want to get a hold of my affiliate links to uh, Entertainment Earth and help me out, help my channel out. Um, but yeah, guys, this is amazing. I think my favorite in this entire haul, again, is probably Croc Master and then Atrocitus and then the Blackest Night figures. Uh, probably Usagi and the Neutrinos next. Uh, Shredder is pretty cool. No, not that I'm actually uh, collecting it. The Rhino is awesome. Guys, I can't even set all this up on camera. There's so much. There is so much here. Yeah, that's just going to fall. Get this stuff in front of my face here so y'all can see it all. <laughs> yep, it ain't going to happen. So again, we got three classified G.I. Joes. We got technically seven McFarlane toys. We got five Marvel Legends. We got a Mirage Loot Crate. We have the Masterverse and we have technically four uh, NECA Turtles. So wow, guys, this is exciting. So. Check it out later here. I'm going to actually add these to the shelf. My son and I will be opening them probably, so you won't see that on camera, but I will be adding these to the shelf and adding these to this video. So hang on guys, and we'll be back in a second. Wait guys, I was mistaken. It is not 23. I forgot about my four Thundercats. It is, tw there's 27 figures in this lot. 27 out of 14 packages. So, if you noticed in my thumbnail, what did I say? I said, it has begun, and I got flames. What has begun? What am I talking about? It has begun, guys. The shipping of our figures that we've had pre-ordered forever has begun. So, get ready. Make sure your bank accounts are ready so that you can get your figures as well and get them paid for because, guess what? They ain't going to wait for you. They will cancel your order if you don't have the funds. So I know you want these figures just as bad as I do. So get out there and make sure your funds are prepared for all the stuff that you have pre-ordered. All right, so let's check out and see what I got ready for adding to the shelf. See you guys in a second. All right, so I was able to get a few shots here of the collection in boxes on the table without me behind it, of course. And my gosh, there's a lot of figures, a lot of boxes here outside of the 14 boxes, literally. This is so much to unbox here, and I loved doing every bit of it for you guys. Check these out from the side. So much joy coming to us from all these retailers. E-tailers, if you want to call it. So as you saw, I unboxed my Thundercats Ultimates from Entertainment Earth. They did come in two separate packages. So we got our Mirror Dimension lion -O. And Captain Hammerhand here. As you see, he's got his booty right there. He's got his gun. Looking really good. Got two pirates now. We need way, way more. But you can see 
Lion-O has his glove with this extension that comes out, and his little uh, grappling hook right here coming out at us. He also has a small Sword of Omens there, but there is the Mirror Dimension Lion-O, so that was my first box. My second box came with the Bengali, so now we got our newer Thundercats right here finished. Got our older Thundercats right there. We still need our Snarf and Kitten Cat. And this will look extremely good. And then we got us another mutant. So we got our Vultureman mutant right there with all his little tools. So there we go with our mutants. So really cool. Thundercats have expanded dramatically in the last few months. So thanks Super 7 for that finally. All right, so let's do a little bit of unboxing and speed through all this stuff right here.
All right, so here we are. Zach has already added the rhino to the Spider-Man shelf. We replaced it with the one from the Fearsome Foes box set or the the Sinister Six. I'm not sure which one it was from back in the Toy Bigs days. Like I said, we'd already sold our Build-A-Figure piece or Build-A-Figure rhino. And so this is definitely a much-needed up upgrade to this Spider-Man shelf for the rhino figure. Looking really good. Got the Spider-Verse up top, too. Loving it. The thing I love about this Rhino the most, though, is these eyes on the side of this head sculpt. And that's what makes this one so much better, in my opinion. Besides the shoulder pads not being there than the original. He also added the Neutrinos and Yusaki Yojimbo to the NECA TMAT shelf. There you can see those wanted posters that we had, teasing that we were getting the Neutrinos a long time ago. There's Yusagi with his hat on his back. Got his katana in his hand. A little dinosaur there. And again, I don't really know all the Neutrinos' names. I should, especially since they're on the wanted posters. Uh, but yeah, we got them all three on the surfboards here up in our Dimension X type shelf with Krang. Got those two little figures that come with them. Again, I don't know who they are. I should, I guess, but I don't. And they all have all kinds of little accessories that they come with too. So a really cool set. And NECA did an awesome job with the paint on these Neutrinos. So awesome three pack there that we got from NECA. Those hair pieces are crazy. And their joints are so tiny. Also added the Bone Breaker to the X-Men shelf here. And got the Reavers there behind them. Also with Lady Deathstrike. It's kind of just like a little futuristic type scene here, I guess, with the Old Man Logan and Hawkeye too. But the one thing about this is the treads don't have any wheels on the bottom. So that's kind of disappointing to me. So he can't actually roll. So here are all of the ones that I have left to still add to the shelf. Skeletor, Havoc, Maggot, Siren. we got our G.I. Joe Classifieds here with Spirit, the G.I. Joe, Cobra, um, Officer, Destro here from the uh, retro collection or vintage looking box. The Gung Ho looking awesome. My favorite probably for this whole entire unboxing, Killer Croc. We've got our McFarlane toys here with our Red Robin, our Blackest Night stuff, Martian Manhunter, and the Build-A-Figure for Atrocitus. So man, what an unboxing. And again, I've already added some of the stuff to the shelf. But check out all these that have unboxed here and are ready to add to the collection. So I'm going to take some shots here of it. And let you see those images as well right here. Alright, so here we go. You see the gung-ho and the Destro there. I actually swapped out the weapons and everything for the Destro from the original head. The briefcase, the necklace, all have been swapped out because I like the way that those look better with this new Destro with the eyebrows. And the silver uh, arm pieces there look so much better. Right there you can see he's got the gold gun in this sheath there as well. So the gung-ho is looking amazing as well. I love that original color scheme there. Threw the other Destro down here for now on the bike. So he'll be sold, I'm sure. But there's your Cobra Officer. It is a much lighter blue. I don't know if that's just because the silver's on it. But yeah, he looks good there on the shelf as well. You know, I started looking at my G.I. Joes and I was like, you know what? I don't really didn't really own a lot of these since three and three quarter. There's my Croc Master and my Spirit. Looking awesome here. Some of my favorites that I unboxed here today, but yeah, classified starting to expand a little bit. I cannot wait for the next stuff that's coming. Uh, again, I do still need a storm shadow of the stuff that's been out so far. That looks awesome. So here is my original Motu Classic Skeletor and He-Man with the Masterverse stuff. And I am not going to get rid of the Classics. It looks way better than this Masterverse. But I will just keep the Masterverse with the other Masterverse figures that I have there. There's Skeletor with the rest of the villains there from the Motu world and Masterverse. Looks good there. All right, here is my McFarlane toy stuff. I did add that Martian Manhunter up here. And then the Blackest Night stuff looking so good. One of my tops of this un unboxing here. You got your Kyle Rayner there. But that Masterverse stuff looks really good so far. And then you got your Batman. I added the Red Robin there with the Batman figures. So again, got all the different Robins there and their different iterations. Uh, I'd still just love to see McFarlane do a classic, and I cannot wait to get my Bane uh, Mega Scale figure to replace that Build-A-Figure I got right there. But this stuff looks really good. 
All right, so here is our X-Force shelf, the original X-Force team, and there's our siren added to it. So she's there with the original team. I need to put her up in the air, though, probably flying. I'd love to, for her to, to come with a uh, screaming head sculpt, just like the Havoc. I would have loved to seen that. But there's the um, X-Force Black team as well with the new X-Force team. So there's our Havoc added to the shelf as well with the Jim, Jim Lee stuff. Such a good replacement there. And again, I would have loved to have seen him with this kind of a screaming head uh, as well as those um, accessories he came with. But those accessories look great. And you already saw the section with Bonebreaker, but I went ahead and just added Maggot down there beside of Shadow King because I know that was one of the battles he had was uh, with Shadow King over in Africa, I think. All right, so final thoughts on 14 boxes, 27 figures. Especially Vultureman. Captain Hammerhand. Mirror Adventure Lino. Where's Bengali? Bengali right there. The biggest thing for me. Love my, my Batman stuff for McFarlane. The Blackest Knight up there. Looking awesome. And then especially, I don't know if you can see it or not, let me open this glass here. And the Trinos. Keep on falling. I cannot get that guy. I think that's Zach to stay up. So that is a bummer that I can't get him to stay up. But I love the neutrinos. And Yusagi looks awesome as well from NECA. Final thoughts. I think that probably my Croc Master from um, G.I. Joe is my number one. Here's Rhino. Rhino looks awesome as well. Uh, my number two would be the Neutrinos if they could stand up, but they are awesome looking. I love the way NECA paint job looks. My number three is my Blackest Knight with my Trocidus Build-A-Figure. Yeah, I'm loving that. And then, uh, probably, like I said, the Thundercats, just because I'm finishing up the Mutants with Vultureman there. And then Rhino. Rhino's my next favorite. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you have any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you're ready. Hit that thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. It has begun. I hope you guys have your funds ready and are ready for this type of haul from your distributors. This is massive and it's just going to keep on coming. Hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys later.